Thanks for checking out Guardians of the Green Beret. Today we present Nicholas and Julie Paia. Nick was sent to us by an SF brother who met him when Nick stopped by trying to get a job. It was a somewhat of an unscheduled stop in and Mike wasn't hiring, but Mike did see Nick wearing a special forces ring. So he decided to sit down and see how he could help. Nick was willing to talk about his group time and the fact that he was in seventh group, which piqued Mike's interest because Mike was also in seventh group. Things started getting a little sideways though when Nick said he didn't have to go through Robin Sage because of TDY time with the teams prior to the Special Forces Qualification Course. It went even more off track when Nick said he was on ODA 721 at virtually the same time Mike was a team leader of the same team. I guess that's when Nick left and Mike shared that information in a special forces forum and that's when Guardians got involved. We searched the internet and found all his claims of 7th group. He agreed to come clean and make an apology. We had a number of recordings on him and we seemed to have lost them in a data transfer. However, we do have two, one from him and then a second one from his wife and that's why we add Julie to it because it's hard enough getting a confession from these guys, which we did, yet she went out of her way to bury it because she was worried about her image. She really didn't care about his lie or any of that. She just worried about what others would think of her and that's not our primary concern. Our primary concern is correcting the lie. So without further ado, the first audio will be Nick followed directly after with Julie. Hello? Yeah, somebody from uh, this number called me. This is Nicholas Paella. Hey, how you doing? I'm not doing too well. Yep. Sorry you called my wife. All I did was say, check your other box. I didn't leave my name, my number. I said, just check your other messages on Facebook, and she called me back. She looked me up on caller ID and called me. All right. Well, well my wife's a very thorough person. She, you know, wants to uh, get all the information before she decides she wants to divorce me. So, um, you know, yeah. how can you, how could you, you know, I can't do So, yeah. So I saw the post. Yeah. And, uh, you know, hey, I, I tried to apologize. But she's and, under the assumption that you have a purple heart. And, and, and you, I, I think you just need to come clean with her and tell her that's all false. She's still under the assumption that you were in special forces. I said that's absolutely 100% false. He, right. And, well, and, and look, I've, I've, always, I've always maintained that, you know, it, granted, the way I probably said it didn't it is the way it, it makes it sound okay. But I've always asked her. I've always been. Um, I don't know what the word I'm looking for here is, but I've always maintained that the work I did with Special Forces was OJT. Now I, you know, I understand. Well, that okay. I, I, I don't mean to interrupt, but yes, sir. Uh, on your LinkedIn account and on your job resume, it, it doesn't say that. It says. 7th Special Forces Group and actually claims an ODA 721. Right. And, and, and that, you know, well, well, I mean, that's that's not a I, I guess the way I worded it. Hey, you, <laughs> you really can't word it any other way. If somebody says 7th Special Forces Group, ODA 721, that means you are with 7th Group on ODA 721. It's There's no gray area to that, you know. That means you're wanting somebody to believe that you're on 721. Understood. And what are the chances of you running into Mike, who actually used to be the team leader of 721? Um, you know, I don't know. I met Mike when I was at uh, the school, but yeah. Some of the questions you answered <clears throat> seemed a little bit gray. And then when you claimed you were an 18 Echo but didn't have to go to Robin Sage, I mean, everybody, that doesn't happen. Right. Well, you know, and again, I had hoped I had hoped to avoid all of this. Every single person that claims they're special forces and then gets busted says the exact same thing. Oh man, I said I was sorry. 
I, I, I know. I, I understand that you're. I understand that you deal with this all the time, and yes. that's what you do. And then, and, and to you, in no offense at all intended, it's just an excuse. So I understand that. Everybody My says they're sorry, and everybody says it won't happen again. But it already did happen, and you you might have got your job because of that. You know, we have yet to address that. I don't have a job. Okay. When you were a security with Larry Flint, was that because you were former Special Forces? No, that was because I I um, answered an ad off of Craigslist. Okay, but, I mean, he didn't see your resume and say, hey, wait a minute, hire this guy before that guy because this guy's a Green Beret. No. Okay. I guarantee you that had nothing to do with it. Hey, what are the chances of you actually coming clean with your wife and telling her you weren't in combat, you didn't have a Purple Heart, and you weren't a Green Beret? I already have. Oh, really? Yes, sir. When, when did that happen? A half an hour ago? <laughs> Pretty much. Okay. You. Well, good for you. I don't know how I can believe that. Because when we, we talked longer than I thought we would, but she goes, no, I know for a fact he was SF. I've... I met some of his his first sergeant and stuff. I said, well, I'll tell you what, lady. I guarantee you anybody you met was not a former Green Beret. No, she knows, she knows that he wasn't a former Green Beret. Well, yeah, and she says that, did you say it was a, a secondhand store or a pawn shop, or where did you get that uniform? I got that, yeah, at a, uh, um, what's it called? But one of those Army Navy stores. Okay, because because your wife said that's not true. Was she under the assumption it was your actual uniform? Yes. Okay. Did you tell her that it wasn't your actual uniform? Yes. Because I told her, I said it's very easy to spot somebody that doesn't know what they're doing. Right. Yeah. Well, and, I mean, you know, I'm not going to get into the whole thing with that, but uh, you're, you know, look. It was I. It was a friend of mine, you know, grabbed it. Hey, you know, like I said and, and before, it was for my dad's funeral. Who just died of cancer. Yeah. And what made you put on the seventh group beret or the long tab? I mean, who's? But see, that's what I have a hard time believing because it was a long tab sewed on seventh group. All these things that you're professing to be in your resume and on LinkedIn, and you had on your combat patch. Didn't you have your old unit? Uh, the uh, Korea? Yeah, it was Korea. Well, I mean, see, all those things almost make me think it wasn't a uniform, but it was a concerted effort to deceive. I, I understand the way it looks, believe me. I mean, it, that's hard to overcome. Your own, one of the coincidences of somebody serving in your unit in Korea, then going SF, and going 7th group, and all those things are what you're pretending to be, and then you just happen to find that uniform or borrow it. I'm not really believing that. Uh -oh. I mean, I know for a fact if I lie and I get caught and I have to tell another lie, they're very hard to remember. And it never, ever works out. Because everything, you're, everything you say is either in text and can be referred back to or recorded. Mm -hmm. Are you recording me now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, everything you've said has been recorded. Okay. Now, I like to do that so I'm not misquoted or misstated. So when I tell somebody, you know, he admits that he was not SF, I have it on recording, and they want me to forward them the recording, I can. Uh, you know what? Have your wife delete all that crap. An apology goes a long way. You'd be surprised. Um, I mean, I don't know how to do that because I've already shut down completely my Facebook. And my LinkedIn account? Yeah. I mean, they're gone. I, I'm not going to, you know, that, I, that's how I thought it would be best to take care of that, is yeah. just to get rid of everything. Well, your wife could take off those pictures, but I think you could reactivate your account, and you could come out and open it up to the public. So you say, hey, I want to publicly apologize. That's a big deal right there, dude. Okay, so, you know, in order to make this right, and and possibly, I doubt you will, but possibly get that taken down off of your wall. That won't ever happen. 
but it won't be posted to her company website. Okay. All right. Hey, that public apology needs to be set so the public can see. Okay. All right. What follows is Julie calling us back pissed and worried about her image and not so much Nick's apology. Hello? Yeah. This is Julie. You and I spoke earlier. This oh, is yeah, yeah. Place. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yeah. So I'm at home, and he is saying that he's written something on Facebook, so you guys are happy, that says that he wasn't in special forces. I've asked him to put more on there that he did serve and whatever else, but he doesn't want to do that. But i got to tell you, um, do you, what do you want from him, and what is the purpose of that? He said he's posted it, but we can't see it. It's not posted to the public domain. Well, it, it, here's the thing, and it is right now, and I'm having him take it down, because I'm not having this out in the media for me to have to deal with. If you guys want to go through all this, then you guys drag each other through the mud, but I'm not going through this. Yeah, if you want to start getting nasty... I'm just trying to be nasty with you. I'm trying to come up with a solution. We just wanted a public apology, and he was willing to do that, and everything was going to be dropped. He, uh, he lied. I know that you're put... He, now he you li- put my company up. He lied. He lied. Okay, he's admitted to lying. We just, and he lied in the public. Now we just want a public apology. That's not a lot to ask. And you're wanting him to hide the fact that he was a liar because it's going to make you feel bad. I mean, holy yeah, cow! Actually, that's not what I said. But why don't you share his company phone phone number or his phone well, number? Because he's not working. Because he's not working. I just you thought, thought I. I, I I talked to him a little bit, uh, probably a couple hours ago, and everything was settled that he was going to make a public apology, admit that he told lies, shows remorse, instead of still living the lie, and that would be the first step in redemption, or whatever he wants to call it, or what it, you know, the, whatever the correct word for it is. But you want him to continue to hide the fact that he lied. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm asking to put the full picture because I do think that there's, since you put my name out there and everything, and you, the, the you, you, you have, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am your, your name has been out there for six months since we've been working on this, and people have known about your company website. People have been up and down your profile. How do you think they got the pictures? The pictures were off of your uh, profile, not his. Where is that? That's what I just said. Yeah, and everything that you said about my husband, the Green Beret, and 7th Group and everything was off yours. This wasn't something we did yesterday. We've been working on it for probably months. Uh-huh. And you know, so what's the end goal here? So you're going to take this public apology and you're going to put it on your website so you, and, and, rank and, and do that with it, promote it that way through your website? No, he's going to put a public apology on his wall. Well, that's not going to happen. You and I both know that, but that's fine. I mean, I understand what you're saying. Um, How do you know it's not going to happen? Well, because what he did was, never mind, I'm not getting involved in that. That's between you two, and I'm not even having this conversation with him right now. My concern, obviously, right now is for me and my reputation, and the reason I, of course, supported him is because that's what I know, but I'm a vice president of public relations. You you told me that earlier. You told me that earlier. That doesn't mean nothing to me. Okay, well, it means something to me because it's my background and my reputation, which I've never lied about. Right. It does mean something to you. But I mean, you, 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 you told, I know, I know, but you've told me that like three times now. I know you're a vice president of some company. I don't give a shit about the VP. I'm saying I work in the media. Mother, right? Okay, you, that's not how you said it the last three times. But I get you work in the media and you're a vice president of this company. So w- w- that's, that's etched in stone. We know that. So that doesn't have to be repeated. You know, we, we were looking for a public apology for him. From him. He was willing to do that. And you're the one that just called me and told me that's not going to happen. He He's texted me. I, I'm looking right at it. He's already done it's, it. You ha- yeah, I, well, I'm sorry. You have. It is set to friends only or something. Nobody can see it. It's, it's on public right now. So well, I haven't, I haven't been there in the last five minutes. Because then the next post goes to like 2009. Have not sent me a link where we've been texting back and forth. And I'll look at it. I will take that. Uh, he's, re- he's reposting it. But my point is, is I don't want this Facebook off that. I, I mean, I'm sorry. I, 
all right, I'm going to, you know what, you too, you, I'm, I'm going to stay out of it. I'm going to stay out of it. I'm too upset about this as it is. Honestly. Hey, all I did, there, you don't be mad at me for telling the truth. I I'm, done, I'm not, not mad at you for telling the truth. I'm mad at him, obviously, but I don't like to get phone calls at work when I'm in the middle of a meeting. Uh, I'm ma'am, like, I, don't I, I didn't call you during the middle of the meeting. I didn't call you. I left a message on your phone recorder. I did not interrupt your meeting. Let's get real here. I didn't say that. I didn't say that you, that you interrupted my meeting. Okay, in the middle of the day, whatever. Okay. Right? Well, whatever. that's all. I mean, you could have listened to that message and gone on your day. I didn't ask you to call me back. In fact, I said you don't have to call me back. Just check your other messages. And, I, and all I did was post a link to tell you about your husband because I told you, as we spoke earlier, beyond any doubt, beyond any doubt, he's never in combat, never got a Purple Heart, never was Special Forces. So you're ever. saying you were never in combat. So are you never in combat? Here. You're saying that you were in combat. No? You were never in combat? Okay. See? And I'm just telling you. I know these things beyond a doubt. And I said you just have to know who you're living with. I know more about him than you do. Maybe. All right. Okay, fair enough. He's doing what you want. Okay. Bye. Bye. It's pretty bad when you get a fraud to agree to come clean, and then you have to work harder to overcome his wife when she's trying to bury it for her own reasons.